Yes friends, as part of this session, let's understand about one more important concept called as wrapper classes. Okay, very important and very simple. Observe here. What is that? Wrapper classes. Okay, observe here. Observe here. Why we have to go for wrapper classes? Simple thing. Observe. We are having primitive variables. How many primitive data types we are having? How many primitive data types we are having? We are having byte, short, int, char, long, float and double, right? Byte, short, int, char, long, float, double. And also we are having boolean, getting? And also we are having what? Boolean data type. Now here, can I can I call any method on this i variable like sop dot i dot to string? Can I call? No. If you call, you will get compile time error as what? Mm. I cannot be dereference. Getting? I cannot be dereference. In order to call any method on a particular variable, this variable must be as reference variable. Getting? Reference variable. But not, but not, hmm, but not primitive variable. They must and should be as what? Reference variable. Observe here. Wrapper classes. Observe here. What is this? Wrapper classes. Wrapping all the primitive uh, literals within object. If it is like int, int i equals to 9. If it is like byte, byte b equals to 9. Observe here. Primitive variables wrapping within the mm, within the object. Of course, here it will not be as byte. Of course, there will be a separate variable, but literal literal value is very important. I'm wrapping a literal within the object. Getting object. Getting in order to wrap a particular a literal within object, we are going to depend upon wrapper classes logic okay wrapper classes logic okay now let's see what is this wrapper classes hmm. wrapper classes advantages to a simple thing observe simple thing observe here before going to that one i can create a variable in this form can i call any method that is can i observe here at memory how this statement will have memory allocation like this now now can i perform any activity on that i no you cannot perform any functionality by using that i to do that you have to uh, depend upon reference variables that is you have to depend upon an object in order to get such type of ability, we are going to wrapper classes. Okay, here we are going to wrap a particular literal within object. So you are going to get some ability. Getting you are going to get what an ability. Observe here. Okay, so what is the advantage of wrapper classes? Simple thing. Observe here. Advantages. Simple thing. In Java, everything, whatever the data you are going to represent, that can get represent in terms of object only. Whatever it is, if it is like byte, short, int, char, any float, double, literals, you can represent them in terms of object. So, Java is purely object oriented programming language because of these wrapper classes concept. Even these primitive variables corresponding or holding data can be mm, can be wrapped within an object. Getting so 
Java is what purely object oriented programming language okay so what is the biggest advantage of this one ah wrapping uh, wrapping the literals literals within the within the object so so java is what so java is completely object oriented programming language okay that is one advantage number two what is that means observe if it is like int i i am not able to apply any functionality methods means what functionalities are services and uh, now if i want to call what is that two hex string can i can i call that method no you cannot call i want to convert this nine into hexadecimal can i do no such a type of service i don't have getting i cannot be here if you do call this one you will get i cannot be d referenced i cannot have any references i mean i cannot have any services here in order to get those services what i'm doing i'm wrapping them within the object so that i can have all these services how many simple up to here class a is there int i is there nine and think that public void two hex string method is there my own method logic how to create object for a a, a equals to new a because of this one a will be there and i equals to hmm, nine will be available and also now on this a can i call a dot two hex string yes i can call getting such a type of classes such a type of classes up to here what i have done here i want to convert this nine or else triple nine into hexadecimal form i want one service directly can i call if it is like triple nine here two hex string no i'll get compile time error i'm avoiding that compile time error by using my own class getting my own class and my own user defined method everything i am accessing this i variable here logic to convert hexadecimal hmm, converting this integer to hexadecimal number but these implementations you are not recommended to write by default sun micro system provided hmm, classes for each and every data type for each and every data type they provided such a type of classes to us classes to us those classes are called as wrapper classes for byte they have given separate wrapper class called as capital b i b y t e and for int they have given integer up to here such a type of classes this is what my own class my own user defined method i want to convert this into hexadecimal i want to convert this into octal binary i want to convert this i into object here it is what i is within this a object but i want to put this i within one integer object like that i want to do to do all of these things you have to write your own code but sun micro system has given all of these things as a ready made thing to us uh, so all are available mm, within within lang package okay so for int what is a corresponding wrapper class mm, integer here i can take even what long also you think i can write that logic but instead of writing your own logic they have given separate independent classes for each and every primitive data type variables that is for primitive data types different different wrapper classes okay for each and every different data types different different unique wrapper classes okay so observe here what is the advantage of other one means hmm you can hmm, we can how we can how the services that is we can have more number of more number of the services like what to hex string if you want to convert this double line into words how you can get convert 
how you can get convert uh, how you can get convert you have to write your own logic those things uh, will be available as a ready-made thing to us here observe here triple line should be converted to 999 words that logic are called as sir i mean those logics will be available within methods okay within methods those logics you can write i want to get such type of services getting those services are available within these hmm, wrapper classes so what is the advantage we can have more number of services getting we can have more number of services that is functionalities or behaviors okay more number of functionalities or behaviors this is the advantage of our wrapper classes number one is what hmm. number one is what we can even represent primitive variables also as Mm, object so java can behave as completely object oriented programming language another one is what mm, another one is what by using these wrapper classes i can give more number of services up so here i want to convert this triple line into hexadecimal i'm writing my own code here but sun microsystem is telling to us you please wait i have given corresponding wrapper classes for corresponding data types to have more number of services here i have written only one method one functionality one services like that within integer class they have given more number of services like 10 20 30 services so i can have more number of services that's the big advantage of these wrapper classes observe here can I have a constructor within this class? Yes, I can have the constructor. I, ha I can have the constructor in this way. Yes, I can have. Can I have the constructor in this way? Long L. Yes, I can have the constructor. You think? I can have the constructor. Now observe here. I said to you, Sun Microsystem has given wrapper classes for each and every corresponding data types okay what are those class names let's observe once okay what are those class names let us observe once observe here for byte we are having we are having byte for short we are having short capital s french okay for int we are having integer okay and for char we are having character class okay observe here i have taken class a to prov to provide my own service but by default as a ready-made thing sun microsystem has provided hmm, corresponding data type classes that is classes for classes for corresponding data types getting so i'm going to have more number of services and those class names are this one corresponding data type wrapper class is what not wrapper class just class is what byte and all these classes are called as wrapper class okay observe here care other one is what long capital l o n g long float capital f l o a t small d l o b double capital o u b l e and small b boolean what is this capital b l e a n boolean so the corresponding class for boolean is what capital b o o l e a n so these and all corresponding classes for each and every primitive data type all these classes together called as wrapper classes okay wrapper classes observe here this class called byte has been provided by sun microsystem and class called short has been provided by sun microsystem and class called integer has been provided by 
Sun Micro System. Definitely they will have lots of implementation or not? Yes, they will have lots of implementations internally. We are going to learn about them only. Okay, observe here to provide functionalities for literals. For these literals, we can develop our own class with some methods or with some services getting you can develop it's up to you but by default jdk that is sun microsystem provided some few classes for corresponding data types those classes are what for byte capital b y t byte for short capital s h o r t for int integer for char character for float capital f l o a t for double capital D L O B L E for boolean capital B L O O L E A like that we are having corresponding classes for hmm, data types all these classes are called as wrapper classes okay and these classes are having lots of implementations getting we are going to learn a little I mean a little internal implementations as part of these sessions one small thing if it is a primitive variable we cannot access any services like this i dot to hex string any method you can call it will you compile time error to get services i'm going to wrap these triple line literal within one object and on this object if it is like an object i can that's up so here how to wrap this on up object uh, wrap into this object meaning is you have to write the constructor object creation means what new keyword followed by constructor s or no yes here you have to pass triple line i don't know this name let it be x name now here you are having one x object with data as what triple line now think that it is having one reference okay let it be a now a dot to hex string if it is available within class called x okay let it be two hex string is available here okay that's why a dot two hex string is valid getting so i'm wrapping them i'm wrapping these literals to get more number of services getting that is what wrapper class and we are mm, representing even literals as part of i mean in the in the objects terminology so java is completely object oriented programming language and each data type is having their corresponding classes those classes are called as wrapper classes these classes are having lots of implementations we are going to learn those implementations now okay